I think this is going to be a very exciting program. We have just finished uh, reviewing all the abstracts submitted and there will be more than 2,000 contributions from scientists from all over the world. So very exciting news. Much of, of an experience from the clinical side, but also many new discoveries that will going to be discussed. Um, so we are also looking forward to a very nice venue. So Copenhagen uh, is a wonderful city. The Bella Center is a wonderful venue for the Congress. So. Um, we are excited and looking forward to meet everybody from all over the world interested in microbiology and ID. We always try to have a very balanced program between clinical micro, basic science, pathogenesis, um, clinical ID, vaccines, prevention, infection control. So I hope that this will be the case again in Copenhagen. And of course, we think about tracking the uh, different sessions um, in the way that clinical ID fellows might find sessions that are more interesting to them, but we still look for a balanced program for everybody in the field. There will definitely be quite a few numbers of new compounds around and uh, I think we need that in mycology as well, even though we would like to see even more and particularly of, of new drug classes as well. But there will be some exciting new and promising candidates, yes. I think the study groups is an excellent opportunity to get involved and to expand your network within Europe and also outside of Europe, but also coming to ECMIT, of course, interacting with the different uh, presenters, both at the poster sessions and also after uh, the lectures, is a great opportunity to get involved and to expand your uh, network. Well, you know that many study groups will meet. The trainee association of ECMIT will, be, uh, will provide opportunities for young fellows to meet and network. You have plenty of opportunities. Um, not only is the poster session and the exhibition area places where you bump into people and you have the opportunity to chat and to discuss, but uh, there are also all the working groups and that is where you typically meet people within your own field. And uh, I think it's, it's something that we uh, really want to encourage and we also encourage people to sign up for these working groups because it's an outstanding opportunity to, to meet others in your own field. For virology, uh, we based the program on both uh, hot topics like Ebola or MERS, uh, which I think are really interesting because of the, the hot news around uh, currently, but also some more traditional topics like encephalitis or viral hepatitis uh, will both be addressed at uh, ECMIT. It's always difficult when you, when you are on the program committee and you think it, you're doing an outstanding program, to name just a few. But, um, but I think if you, if you look for the broad perspective, I look forward to the uh, top 10 papers. That's also always very popular and I enjoy it. And this year actually it's a, it's a, a female session. I think that's quite new, that both speakers are females. Um, but that's a very good opportunity to become updated. But we also have a new session on outbreaks and I think that is probably an underdiagnosed and underprioritized area in mycology. But then, of course, there's, there are quite a few interesting papers also on and presentations on new diagnostic methods and, and treatment and outcomes. So I think it's going to be an exciting conference. Yeah.